Deep in the Hundred Acre Wood, Christopher Robin and his friends have had many wonderful adventures. And if I'm correct, I believe we have just enough time to see one. On this crisp autumn morning, Winnie the Pooh was warming himself when he suddenly heard the familiar sound of his poo-coo clock. He was reminded that it was time to do something, but the exact something was something he couldn't quite remember. Oh, yes. Time for my stoutness exercise. I am stout, round, and I have found speaking poundage-wise. I improve my appetite when I exercise. Oh, stuff and fluff. That's better. Thank you. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. I'm rumbly in my tumbly. Time for something sweet. I am short, fat, proud of that, and so with all my might. I up, down, up, down to my appetite's delight. While I up, down, touch the ground, I think of things to chew, like honey and milk and chocolate. With a hefty, happy appetite, I'm a hefty, happy poo. With a hefty, happy appetite, he's a hefty, happy poo. No bother. Empty again. Only the sticky parts left. <laughs> that buzzing noise means something. And the only reason for making a buzzing noise that I know of is because you're a... a bee! And the only reason for being a bee is to make honey. And the only reason for making honey is so I can eat it. <laughs> and so Pooh went off in search of satisfying his rumbly tumbly, but that is an entirely different story for an entirely different time.